Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's episode of Christians Unite Bible Readings, we're going to be looking at Titus chapter 1. Leadership in the Church Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to further the faith of God's elect and their knowledge of the truth that leads to godliness and the hope of eternal life, which God, who does not lie, promised before the beginning of time, and which now, at his appointed season, he has brought to light through the preaching entrusted to me by the commandment of God our Savior, to Titus, my true son, and our common faith, grace and peace from God the Father in Christ Jesus our Savior. Um, so this is just a greeting message uh, that's directed toward Titus. Um, so this is just Paul um, basically giving an introductory statement. Appointing elders who love what is good. The reason I left you in Crete was that you might be put in order what was left unfinished and appoint elders in every town as I direct you. An elder must be blameless, faithful to his wife, a man whose children believe and are not open to the charge of being wild and disobedient. Since an overseer manages God's household, he must be blameless, not overbearing, not quick-tempered, not given to drunkenness, not violent, not pursuing dishonest gain. Rather, he must be hospitable, one who loves what is good, who is self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. He must hold firmly to the trustworthy message as it has been taught, so they can encourage others by sound doctrine and refute those who oppose it. Um, so this is kind of the early setup for um, the Christian church. Um, elders in the church had to be um, basically blameless. Now, no, none of them could have been perfect, but they had to hold a standard um, to hold that position of elder in that church um, and some churches still use this elder role and have similar um, guidelines uh, today um, so we're still kind of following um, the example of Paul in some churches as well um, so this is what the, that part of the text is talking about is uh, guidelines for elders rebuking those who fail to do good for there are many rebellious people full of meaningless talk and deception especially those of the circumcision group they must be silenced because they are disrupting whole households by teaching things they ought not to teach and not for the sake of dishonest gain one of Crete's own prophets has said it. Cretans are always liars, evil brutes, lazy gluttons. This saying is true. Therefore rebuke them sharply so that they will be sound in faith and will pay no attention to Jewish myths or to the merely human commands of those who reject the truth. To the pure, all things are pure, but to those who are corrupted and do not believe, nothing is pure. In fact, both their minds and consciousness are corrupted. They claim to know God, but their actions deny them. They are detestable, disobedient, and unfit for doing anything good. Now, in this set of texts, um, you have to have a historical understanding to know what they're talking about. Um, so, when they mention the circumcised group, uh, that is, the Jews that were circumcised, uh, that called themselves Christians um, and they were trying to teach the Gentile group that they must be circumcised in order to be saved which wasn't true because that was a work instead of salvation by grace so these were people that were still holding to the old ways of doing works uh, in order to gr get God's favor um, so this is what Paul was warning about, is people that claim to be of God, but they are doing and saying things that are completely wrong. 
Um, in today's society, it's the same way. There's a lot of people out there that claim that you have to do certain things in order to be saved and certain actions to be saved. But all you have to do is have faith in Christ that he is a savior and you cannot get salvation unless you have him. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. Have a wonderful week.